The neck! Oh, thank goodness! You gotta help us with this! Dude, how long have you been not hiding? Oh, I should probably have said something. Y'all should go. Did ya? Did she? Are ya? Big Mac? What's going on? Where's Sugar Bell? Just go! But we worked so hard on this chart! I think we've almost cracked it! If you could just- Not right now! But I can't stand having a secret admirer who's too scared to tell me who he is! Maybe he doesn't like talking! But that doesn't make any sense! Maybe he used to talk too much and it only ever got him into trouble! <sighs> what if you're right, Discord? What if love isn't real at all? I'm sorry, sweetie Belle. I'm just mad and I'm taking it out on you. That's okay. I bet it felt good to get it out, though. Actually, it did. Telling you how I felt just then. I gotta go. Big Mac, where are you going? I gotta talk to Sugar Bell. Discord, you gotta use your magic and... Guess you have better things to do. Big Mac's gonna need a miracle. Caught you just in time. We both know I don't like to say much, but I'm gonna say something now. <sighs> Even though I'm hurting, I wouldn't trade this feeling for anything, because it'd mean giving up the good times we had too. I only broke up with you because you were gonna break up with me. I respect your decision, but you should know, you'll always be in my heart. I didn't want to break up with you. But you said you don't need me to visit anymore. You said I'm gonna be on my own. I, I, I heard you said we're finished when I was hiding in the bushes. And that sounds worse than it is. Oh, Big Mac, I was talking about my cousin. I have this wacky cousin who's never been on his own, but I have to let him run my shop on weekends. Which is why you won't be delivering to my village anymore. Because I'll already be here apprenticing with Mrs. Cake, who does that two days a week. No, three. Wait till I tell Spike. I'd never break up with you. I suppose there's a lesson here somewhere about communication. Talking instead of assuming or eavesdropping is wrong, wouldn't you say? Yep. <laughs> <laughs> Wrinkle nose cutie face. You must have been awful confused at my breaking up with you after you got my pie. What pie? You didn't get the pie I sent? Mm -mm. Or the invitation? Uh -uh. Well, in that case, allow me to escort you to a Hearts and Hooves Day surprise. <laughs> Mind if we join you? Happy Hearts and Hooves Day, Sugar Bell. Meet me. Sugar Bell? You have got to be pulling our hooves. It was all a mix up? <laughs> oh, it's funny. I've been sitting here feeling sorry for myself for not having a special pony on Hearts and Hooves Day, but. Remembering all the fun we had? I think I have two special ponies. My two best friends. Aww. <sighs> and so ends another Hearts and Hooves Day. Despite a bumpy start, and middle, and ending, a lot of bumps today, love was in the air. So was confusion, apparently, and a fair number of assumptions. But you have to admit, after seeing everything Big Mac went through, love is 100% real. Seriously? Discord, come on! I can't believe you! Who do you think broke Sugar Bell's wagon wheel? Ta-da! Happy Hearts and Hooves Day! You old softy. <laughs> I knew you had a heart. 
Speaking of how great I am, are you busy for the rest of the night? <laughs> Calico's ring of imperceptibility isn't going to reclaim itself, you know. Ogres and oubliettes? I thought you'd never ask. Oh, and just wondering, no biggie, but is Skelinor going to be there? Spike, she's an imaginary one-dimensional paper cutout skeleton. Well, no pony's perfect. Thank you.